the happy music of Turk Murphy and his sensational Dixieland band, emanating from Hollywood's favorite rendezvous, the beautiful center grill of the world-famous Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on famed Hollywood Boulevard, right in the heart of the film capital. Well, Maestro, how about stepping over to our microphone here and saying hello to the folks? Hello, folks. Short and sweet. Which one is... That's one thing I like about you. You follow the script anyway. Incidentally, I just heard the radios clicking on, not off, so I know the folks are waiting for more of your fine music as we give them six nights a week from the center grill here, so what will we open with? Alexander's Ragtime. Oh, that grand old timer. Let's grand hear it. Timer. Let's go. of Alexander's Ragtime Band by Turk Murphy and his sensational Dixieland Band really had the cynical jumping here. Incidentally, Turk, I forgot to tell the folks that you are responsible for those fine vocals. 
Did I say fine? Responsible, you said. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, after all, you are our challenge to Sinatra and Crosby and whatnot. No danger, gentlemen. You can keep on recording. <laughs> right about now, I think we ought to get into the music again. And what have we got coming up? That uh, Teen Roof Blues. We got a yeah. special by Skip, Skippy Anderson, Four Bars. Oh, this is Four Bars, Skippy Anderson, featured on the Tin Roof Blues. Gentlemen. <laughs> Skippy Anderson, and that is four bars of music. We sincerely hope that you know that. Incidentally, if you folks listening to our little program by your radio at home or in your automobile, if you're enjoying this half as much as the folks here in the beautiful center grill of the world-famous Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel are, then you must be jumping, too. And believe me, we're open until about 1.30, so why don't you make it a point to drop in? I think that you'd really enjoy meeting the band in person. After all, they're very unusual, all seven of them. And I don't believe I'd better go into that right here and there, because I think more music would be the keynote at the present time. Say, how about telling us about uh, Aunt uh, Skinner's dinner party? Right.
back of Alexander, he will lead the marching and so the way. Go down by Annie's cabin and Lordy how they're having such a time because it's Annie's feeding day. Now what is that I'm smelling? Must be watermelon and the ham that's been run in Annie's pan. So grab your best gal. done, Turk. Incidentally, folks, if you weren't listening too closely to that vocal by our own maestro, Turk Murphy, I made a recording of his voice. Listen, it goes like this. <laughs> Turk Murphy. Ah, what a great little man. Nice vocalizing, too, Turk. I think I'd better just step aside while you and the boys give out with that to plenty.
that's the point. He almost took the roof off the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel here, so let's calm right down into the Zinegrill and uh, quiet down. We had a request for the third man theme. Uh, I know what's going to happen right now. <laughs> Skippy Anderson just uh, dropped off the piano there. That's perfectly all right. As long as we can't have what uh, the request was for, how about getting back to that old timer? This is one that our ABC engineer over there, Ted Crosby, always requests. I bet Ted did the Charleston for this one. Ted uh, not only did the Charleston, he originated the Charleston, I believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> look at the look we're getting. We'd better start before he gets mad. It's yes, sir, that's my baby. <laughs> You know, just a few moments ago, I mentioned the fact that this band here in the Cinegro was very unusual. As a matter of fact, the other night, Skippy Anderson, our piano man, played an entirely different tune from the rest of the band, and nobody caught it. <laughs> now you can see what I'm talking about, so you'd better come down and see for yourself. Nobody you know, this is right there. here in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. I thought you fired him four times that night. He's been running ever since. I see what you mean. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to give back his salary. I understand you pay like Jack Benny does. <laughs> Let's get away from this and hear a little of Mama's Gone Goodbye.
Hey, Turk, we have just about time to hear one more of those fine old Dixieland melodies, and we have a request from Mr. Nelson, the uh, manager here in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. There's a particular tune that is a favorite of his. He's heard you and the boys play it, and he wondered if you wouldn't uh, play it over the air this evening. That's the Muscat Ramble. How about it? Right now. Here we go. This evening to bring you the great music of Turk Murphy and his sensational Dixieland band, currently appearing here in Hollywood's favorite rendezvous, the beautiful Cine Grill of the world famous Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on famed Hollywood Boulevard, right in the heart of the film capital. Remember dancing seven nights a week here in the Cine Grill tomorrow evening while Turk and the boys take just a bit of a vacation. Linda Lopez and her great Latin American band will be on hand for your listening and dancing pleasure. Thanks for joining us and a very pleasant good night to you all. Bob Cummings speaking. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. Ladies and gentlemen, our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday singing sidekick, Dinah Shore. Uh, greetings, Hello, Dinah. Hello, Jack. 
Hi, everybody. Special show tonight, friends. Songs of the 1930s. Tin Pan Alley's golden decade. You know, when the 1930s kicked off, things were pretty rough. The help-wanted column was thinner than Frank Sinatra. And the for signs were as thick as hasty pudding. But there's one thing about rough times in America. They turn out the smoothest songs. Say, Dinah, where were you in 1935? Oh, let's see. In 1935, I was in Nashville. Jack, where were you? Well, in 1935, I was right here in Los Angeles. Duvall, where were you? In 1935, I was in Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too bad you didn't write the 1935 tune Jack's going to sing, Frank. You could have pawned it for plenty. A little bit independent in your walk. A little bit independent in your talk. There's nothing like you in Paris or New York You're awfully easy on the eye A little bit independent when we dance A little bit independent towards romance A bit of sophistication in your glance And yet you're easy on the eye Whenever I'm with you alone you weave a magic spell And though it be a danger zone I only know that you're swell A little bit independent with your smile A little bit independent in your style But how can I help but love you all the while When you're so easy on the eye Yes, sir. The 1930s sure come packed with memory tunes.